With election day fast approaching, many political parties here in Botswana share different opinions about the electoral play field. They prevent us from campaigning. The IEC, the Independent Electoral Commission, is also not as independent as it is made out to be. They are powerless to deal with the challenges attendant upon the lack of fairness in the election. 2019 marks more than 50 years of democracy in Botswana, and this will see millions of voters take to the polls on Wednesday morning with over 900,000 out of 1.6 million registered voters. Earlier this week, the Botswana Democratic Party took its campaign to the communities with the first lady Neo Masisi leading the campaign. On Sunday morning, President Mohwetsi Masisi also met with the elders at the State House to war support. I want to ask them to do the typical Botswana thing. We present a better image. We present a more believable and storyline, a plan that the ordinary majority of Botswana can associate with. Wake up, wash, be merry, obey the law, collect your documents, line up peacefully, vote for the party of your choice. Meanwhile, on the other side of the town, the main opposition umbrella for democratic change also had its launch. The launch felt the power and the potency of the change that we are bringing. The result should be to encourage, to strengthen, to move those who still can be moved and to ensure that uh, they take this energy, keep it for the next four days and translate it into a positive affirmation for the umbrella for democratic change on the 23rd. A better education, inter-trade relationship and diversification of the economy are some of the key priorities from both parties. But the youth wants more. Jobs, um, creation of um, facilities that can empower the youth, um, incapacitating the education and health sectors in our country. That's what I'm expecting. Continue to come with programs that are able to alleviate poverty from Botswana. Zimbabwe was the most mentioned country by both Masisi and Boko in terms of building up the economic relationships. The main contenders of this election are the ruling party, Botswana Democratic Party, the Umbrella for Democratic Change, the Alliance for Progressiveness, and the Botswana Patriotic Party. It is clear that all political parties in Botswana have pulled all stops to win this election. But come Wednesday, it will be up to the Botswana people to determine who they want to represent them. From Haberon in Botswana, Obongani CZ.